Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Judith Jacob. And in today's video, we will be discussing about the syllabus. So before we move on to the video, we need to answer the following question. What is a syllabus? A syllabus can be described as a statement of what is to be learned. It is also an expression of opinion on the nature of language and learning. It acts as a guide for both the teacher and the learner by providing the same goals to be attained. Or it also can be said as a summary of the content where the learner will be exposed. Okay, so there are different types of syllabuses, skills-based, task-based, grammatical, structural, content-based, topical syllabus, and functional or national syllabus. But today, in today's video, we will be focusing on just one syllabus, which is the functional notional syllabus. Okay, so let's have a very brief history about the syllabus. In 1972, the British linguist D.A. Wilkins, he published a document that proposed a radical shift away from using the traditional concepts of grammar and vocabulary to describe the language to an analysis of the communicative meanings that learners would need in order to express themselves and to understand effectively. Also, he categorized um, this syllabus into two, known as notions and functions. So I have given here a graphical demonstration about what notions and functions are. So for example, a notion can be quantity, location, and time, as well as functions could be making requests or making an offer or apologizing. So for further explanation, let's look at what a function is. A function is some kind of communicative act. It is the use of language to achieve a purpose, usually involving interaction at least between two people. So a notion, a notion mean, is an element that may be expressed through nouns, pronouns, verbs, prepositions, and conjunctions. So as you can see here, these are some of the examples for function and notion. So moving on, let's look at some positive characteristics about this syllabus. A functional notional syllabus also is a learning activities involving authentic language use, a functional view of language focusing on doing something through language, or testing focused on ability to use language to react to and operate in the environment. So what is the teacher's role in the syllabus? In the classroom, the students will be engaged in diverse activities. They will have free conversations and debates about weather, current affairs, TV shows and public media and so on. The teacher here is compared to a film producer. They will always be the dominant role of the stage. Without the teacher, the student's activity will be confused. So in this syllabus, the teacher acts as a guide or a facilitator to the student. So before we end our video, here are some very important points to remember. A functional notional approach to language learning places major emphasis on the communicative purposes of speech or in speaking skill. So mainly this syllabus focuses on how to develop the speaking skills of the student. It focuses on what people want to do or accomplish through language. This approach has a goal to help learner use the real language or appropriate language when communicating. In conclusion, in teaching language, the functional notional approach to language helps the teacher to identify the needs of the learner and also to analyze the need in order to draw the syllabus. Beside that, also to 
teach the purposes of speech. So I hope that this instructional video was of some use to you. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you and bye-bye.